all right what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be showing you my uci legal tt bike for which i use for this season the race season is just over and it's time to review it let's get into the bike all right it's an argon 18 2015 rim brake version 2015 to 2017 had the same rim brake version and it still is a super fast bike so let's get it started okay let's start with the brake the rim brakes as you know argon 18 works with trp system on most of the bikes road and tt mostly i'm not a huge fan of the trp the adjustments are not easy so every time i change a wheel and the wheel external width is changed i have troubles adjusting them correctly but as a civil lining it's pretty aero if you take a look at it from the front side the only thing that is exposed is just a single cable out and the brakes actually are hidden from the wind this is also true for the rear wheel okay so with the brakes out of the way what we have here is i'm using a 3t vola carbon handlebar it's 38 uh, centimeter i'm using a two centimeter stack on this and i have adopted to use an aero coach extensions here as you see i have an incline 3t version for my arm cups as much as uci allows in the past uci didn't allow for more than 15 degrees but now they have relaxed the rules up to 30 degrees so this is around 15 to 20 degrees so it's within uci limits i'm using an altegra 11 speed di2 this is the junction box for the altegra di2 11 speed you can see a bunch of uh, cables exposed here but this is the best i could handle them as you see it's still out of the wind from the front but from the side you see a couple of cables there are other stems that enables routing the cables internally or you could actually turn this junction box upside down and put it here but since i wanted to make this bike uci legal i had to change my stem size so this is a pretty short stem so rotating this upside down on this side wouldn't allow me to hide the cables so that's what i have for now okay let's go to the back end side i'm using a physic mystica tt saddles which is a pretty short nose saddle as you see i'm very comfortable with that it allows me to move forward and sit right at the corner here and that helps producing more power because when you are within uci rules you are very limited in the dimension that you can use and adjust your body so every centimeter helps here right going down i've got the aero bottle from um, elite they have a bunch of models this is the best one that works for me it doesn't leak at all the carbon version they have other versions but all of them i tried and then they, they were kind of leaky so it would just make a mess around my frame i'm pretty happy with the setup here as you see i have made a small hack here instead of mounting the two bolts here and there up i brought them one hole down and this is actually open in the air but i made a double-sided tape and with that double-sided tape i have brought the whole system a little bit backward so it's kind of made a smooth transition from my frame to the seat post all right the big elephant in the room is the one by setup that i'm using as you see i have removed my front derailleur i've covered it with a bunch of tapes and i'm using a 54 tooth front chain ring with an eagle shram chain i have never had any issues whatsoever on dropping my chain thankfully and on the back we've got 11 to 32 11 speed altegra what i have changed also here is i've i've been using 172.5 or 175s on all my bikes since this is a tt bike and i'm very cramped i've decided to go much shorter on the crank side so this crank is actually 160 millimeter it helps me with opening up my hips when i'm in an aero position all right let's talk about the wheels i'm using a yolio disc on my rear side and on the front i'm using the pro c88 pro c88 means it's 88 millimeter deep as you see it's pretty deep and on the back i have disc wheel so this bike is not set up for climbs it's mostly used on flat courses you gotta have to make sure you handle your crosswind well i'm a heavy guy i can handle it well but on, on super windy days i've noticed that 
controlling this bike is pretty hard because you've got an 88 in the front and a disc wheel in the back but so far I've been pretty impressed with the performance of the wheels I have no issues with those all right for the front skewer instead of using my quick release skewer as you know all the rim brake bikes have a skewer and normally they work as a quick release version i didn't want to expose that into the wind so i found that this company which is called view speed this is their s4 version of the aero skewer i tested them on a bunch of races i had no issues with them they look very slick and nice there's no handle now exposing the wind as you see here so everything looks clean and smooth i'm gonna put the information of the company down in the description feel free to check them out all right, let's do a hop sound check. Let's wait a bike. There you go, 9.15.